So, the snow has finally come in Vancouver. Will it stay? I do not know. I'm trying to cut down on cigarettes, so I'm dealing with this electronic piece of shit of technology. This video is to say one thing of importance. People think that Zsa Zsa Gabor was a makeup imagery and a cosmetic star, but she was the best socialite of the 20th century. And yes, she was the first to have the Michael Jackson nose 70 years before he did. But, this is one thing I must say. In her native country, if a policeman raised a voice to her, not only would she have the power to slap him, she could take two eyes out without any repercussion. As a socialite, she has done good. She has spent millions on the poor, the depraved, in the low rents. Maybe even more than Mother Teresa or Marlena Dietrich. So, if you think that it is a vacuous thing to mourn the passing of Zsa Zsa Gabor, you are very ill-educated. Something equivalent would be the passing of Toni Morrison, who won a Nobel Prize for Solomon's Song. And beloved... Yes, well, thank God she actually let us figure that shit out. Because that was a hard read and I've got a degree in a lot of things. Let's look at the snow. Look at the traffic. This isn't the best spot. But there's no good lighting anywhere. So you can see my visage. The face I did, or oh, well, Sec Lexia, the sheep did on me as a tribute to the passing of Zsa, Zsa Gabor. You may not think so, but she was a woman of class, taste, and distinction. She was no Naomi Campbell. If she was treated wrong, she reciprocated, properly as a lady should and shall. So, rest in peace this holiday season. I know you're like 120 years old and died, but still, we all thought you were immortal. Shasha Gabor.